Good friends, I am Dr. Nidhi Sharma, IVF Specialist, Medical and Fertility, Chandigarh. So, so today we are going to discuss about all the preliminary tests which a couple needs to get done while when they come up to an infertility specialist for their initial evaluation. So among when we uh, assess the female partner, apart from the routine tests, the blood tests like complete blood counts, urine routine, and uh, blood sugar levels. Another test, other, another test which is very important is the thyroid, thyroid levels and serum prolactin levels. Because patients with hyper or hypothyroidism, they face the problem of infertility. Another hormone which we have talked is serum prolactin. Even patients with higher serum prolactin levels, even they face the problem of infertility because higher prolactin levels, they prevent ovulation to occur thereby leading to an ovulation and infertility. So apart from the routine tests, which all tests uh, are to be done are first is serum AMH levels. What is serum AMH level? AMH is the hormone which is released from the antral follicles in the ovary. That is the eggs which are there in the ovary. So as the age advances, the number of eggs in the ovaries, they start depleting. As a result of which, the serum AMH levels also start reducing, start decreasing in the serum. So, serum AMH level gives us a picture, it reflects about the ovarian reserve of the patient. Secondly, apart from the AMH level, what is, what is, the, what is the status of our tubes? So, we have to assess the tubal potency, that is, which can be done with the help of a test called HSG or hysterosalpingo. Gram, in which we inject a water soluble dye into the uterus and we push it around 5 to 6 ml of dye and along with that we do an x-ray. With the help of that x-ray we are able to see whether the tubes are patent or not. So that is the second assessment. So first we have evaluated the ovarian function, then we have evaluated the tubal potency. Third and third and another important test is a transvaginal ultrasound, which is called TVS. With the help of TVS, we are able to evaluate the uterine anatomy also. If there is some fibroid or some endometrial polyp, or there is some problem with the endometrial lining, we are able to assess that with the help of a TVS. Along with that, another important uh, parameter which we are able to assess is antral follicle count. So antral follicle count depicts the number of follicles measuring 2 to 9 mm which are there present which are there in the ovary on day 2 or day 3 of the cycle. So the, if the AFC count is less than 5, 5 or less than 5, it predicts poor response to the treatment or the IVF stimulation which we give. AFC count of 5 to 14 is considered to be uh, within the normal range or patient will be considered as a normal respondent and someone who has AFC more than 14 she is expected to have a hyper response to the standard ovarian stimulation. So AFC predicts the response to the treatment and the IVF stimulation in a patient. So the preliminary three tests which we have discussed today is the first is the apart from the routine test thyroid levels, prolactin levels, then serum AMH levels, then tubal potency test which can be done with the help of HSG, then third is the transvaginal ultrasound where we, uh, wherein we do evaluation of entry follicle count and uterine anatomy. Thank you.